Welcome people. In this video, we want to look at uh, inhalational anesthetics, nitrous oxide N2O versus halothane. Is it difficult to understand? So, you have to tell the differences between nitrous oxide and halothane. Okay. Just a recap of what we have done so far. Definition we saw, protocol we saw, mechanism of action we saw, stages of anesthesia we have seen. The drugs we have seen, classification, individual names of the drugs we have seen. Now we are looking at the inhalational anesthetics and we are focusing on the differences between nitrous oxide and halothane. There is one table here, if you want you can look at this. And here it will tell you the differences. Just see if you can understand anything in this table. Nitrous oxide is gas, correct? Everything is else is volatile liquid. Nitrous oxide is uh, induction is fast. Induction they are actually saying that it is nothing but stage 1. Stage 1 you should reach fast. So that's what they are telling here. Okay. So nitrous oxide induction will be fast. The minimum, the minimum alveolar concentration is 105 percentage. So what exactly is this minimum alveolar concentration? See, <clears throat> it is the lowest concentration of the anesthetic in the alveoli needed to produce immobility in a, per, in a person. Okay, in response to painful stimulus. Okay, so look at this um, chart here. It's nitrous oxide, can you read it here? Okay. Just note that minimum alveolar concentration for nitrous oxide is 105. It's very high. Okay. Then um, let us look at the other differences. So basically nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide here guys. Nitrous oxide is a gas. And halothane is a volatile liquid. Nitrous oxide the induction and recovery are rapid. Because of low blood solubility. We are discussing nitrous oxide guys. So the induction is soon and the recovery is also rapid because of low blood solubility. It is non-irritant, it is non-inflammable, that is also nice. It has a very wide margin of safety. Like I told you, I myself have taken this nitrous oxide, I, have was, I was given nitrous oxide. So yes, it is non-irritant, non-inflammable, very wide safety margin it has. But it is a poor anesthetic, okay. The minimum alveolar concentration is greater than 100%. You saw it is 105% and it has excellent analgesia. here. So pain, if it can reduce pain. It is a poor skeletal muscle relaxant. You saw that also in this table. See here, muscle relaxant, it is poor. Nitrous oxide, muscle relaxant, it is poor. Induction is fast, recovery is fast. It has got poor anesthetic property also, but it is very good analgesic. Okay, so what you understood so far? Nitrous oxide is poor anesthetic but a very good analgesic, poor skeletal muscle relaxant. So imagine if there is a woman in labor and you want her to push, then you can use this nitrous oxide because it will keep her conscious but the pain will reduce, okay? And it is a poor skeletal muscle relaxant, right? So think about it. A woman in labor, you want her to push, pain should be less for her but she should be able to, uh, she should be conscious also. So nitrous oxide, you will not forget, right? Understood? No? Good. Okay, we are here in nitrous oxide. Continuing. It has little effect on heart, respiration, blood pressure. So that's also nice for us, right? Doesn't affect heart rate, respiration, blood pressure and all. It is cheap. Wow, it's cheap. Now that makes you happy, doesn't it? Yes, it makes me happy. Nitrous oxide is cheap. Good. Then... It, uh, what else are there? It has a second gas effect and diffusion hypoxia can occur with nitrous oxide only. So there is something called as, the disadvantage here will be <coughs> diffusion hypoxia. Okay. So it can kind of come back from the blood. So that is diffusion hypoxia and it can occur if you give only in uh, nitrous oxide. That's why they give it with oxygen. So we think <clears throat> if you want you should google more, read more proper textbooks and all that okay. Then uh, it also another uh, disadvantage of nitrous oxide is in, it may increase intracranial tension okay. 
may increase intracranial tension. All this information taken from Schoenbach textbook. You can go back and uh, confirm with the Schoenbach, please. Now we are moving on to halothane. Halothane is a volatile liquid. Here also induction and recovery are fast. Okay. It is also non-irritant. It is non-inflammable. Same thing. It is well tolerated. It is preferred for induction and maintenance in children. Okay. It is preferred in children. Uh, margin of safety is not wide. However, nitrous oxide had good margin uh, of safety. Halothane, not such good margin of safety, guys. It is a anesthetic, yes. Okay, it has poor analgesia. Yeah. It is opposite of nitrous oxide. Nitrous oxide, what happened? It was having good analgesia, yeah, but it was poor anesthetic. This one, halothane is potent anesthetic, poor analgesic. Okay, then in halothane, muscle relaxation is inadequate. inadequate okay. In nitrous oxide, there is no muscle relaxant, only no skeletal muscle relaxant. Halothane, poor, uh, inadequate muscle relaxant. Okay. But the good thing is potenti it potentiates the action of DTC. What is that? Tubocurarin, right? Let's move on. Uh, this halothane, no, it sensitizes the myocardium to catechol amines. It may precipitate arrhythmias. So it is not that uh, good like nitrous oxide. This halothane is expensive, but nitrous oxide was cheap. Halothane causes bronchodilation. Halothane is preferred in asthmatic patients. That is why they use it probably. Halothane. Nausea, vomiting, rare in halothane. Hepatotoxicity can be there. That's the bad thing, right? If you use repeatedly, there can be hepatotoxicity. Okay. Adverse effects, note all the heads, okay. Hypotension. <clears throat> Hypotension because it is going to affect the heart. It is having a depressant effect on the myocardium. Hypotension can be there. Respiratory depression, hepatotoxicity, malignant hyperthermia, okay. Heart halothane sensitizes the myocardium to adrenaline and can cause arrhythmias. So it is a depressant. It causes hypotension, it depresses the respiratory system also, hepatotoxicity, hyperthermia, all these. These hits are H for halothane, all the side effects for halothane, okay. Look at this chart here. Halothane. It has some muscle relaxation property, okay. Minimum alveolar concentration, halothane, very less. Nitrous oxide, you need a lot. You understood, guys? Nitrous oxide is poor anesthetic, but it is a good analgesic. So, if there is like a child labor, the person doesn't have to be unconscious. But if pain is relieved, that's enough. So, nitrous oxide is preferred in such cases where they don't need complete unconscious stage, but pain reduction. Okay, halothane, it's actually a potent anesthetic, but it is a poor analgesic. Okay, very good. Other advantages, nitrous oxide is cheap and nitrous oxide uh, is safe. However, it is a poor skeletal muscle relaxant. What were the other inhalational anesthetics? Let's go back and look at that. Other, uh, total all of the inhalational anesthetics, let's look at them. Gas, you have nitrous oxide, volatile liquids, you have ether, halothane, isoflurane, desflurane, sevoflurane. So you know that nitrous oxide is given along with oxygen. Ether, not used unless there is nothing else. Halothane, this one, we just read about it. Halothane basically is used, it has a lot of adverse effects like uh, hypotension, hepatotoxicity, uh, respiratory depression, hyperthermia, etc. Halothane, uh, actually it is uh, uh, not that safe like nitrous oxide. However, it is a potent anesthetic. It is a poor analgesic. It also uh, relaxes muscles inadequately, but yes, it relaxes. Then the problem is it is going to hit the heart, right? It can cause arrhythmias. It is expensive also, halothane. Coming to isoflurane. Isoflurane is this purple one. 
and this is the structure of isoflurane guys isoflurane also used a lot this one is sevoflurane yellow okay so now we are done with inhalational uh, general anesthetics read more in the textbook guys don't depend depend solely on this if we can we'll upload more detailed videos okay bye